Hey guys, I'm back and we're gonna start a new Musa mode because we completed Shoes Musa mode, played every stage, played every tail, I showed you how to unlock every tail, and unlock every item in Shoes Musa mode. So, on to the next. And the next Musa mode I'm gonna play is Ways. And I'm sure I told you this already, but we also unlocked the Namon Musa mode and Lubu's Musa mode. In order to unlock the Namon Musa mode, you have to defeat Mung Ho seven times. One of them has to be done in a duel. And in order to unlock Zhu Rong, you have to defeat her in a duel. In order to do that, you have to personally defeat Meng Huo five times. But believe it or not, I actually have seen people unlock the Namon Musa mode and they didn't have to defeat Meng Huo seven times personally. So, me personally, <laughs> I know I said that word a lot just now, but me personally, rather be safe than sorry. So, anyway, and we also unlocked Lubu's Musa mode. To unlock Lubu's Musa mode, you have to complete any of the Three Kingdoms Musa modes, and we um, we pretty much cleared, well, not only cleared, but did everything I possibly could. With one small exception, which I'll show off later on, um, but yeah, we pretty much did everything with the Musa mode in general. But uh, yeah, so we got that as well, and we also unlocked Zhang Liao. Um, in order to unlock Zhang Liao, if you're playing Wei's Musa mode, you have to complete Act Three. And if I'm not mistaken, you also have to defeat Zhang Liao at the Battle Xia Pi. However, we didn't even touch Wei's story. So it makes me wonder how we unlocked them in the first place. Uh, the only two things I could actually think of is either A, he came along with Lubu's Musa mode, or B, at the Battle of Sichui Gate, we defeated Zhang Liao there. Because since we um, once you defeat Zhang Liao the first time, Dong Min will appear instead of Zhang Liao. But, I mean, that's just my theory. I mean, it's just like the battle of Chengdu when Ma Chao appeared. That's the only thing that would make sense to me. I could be wrong. Someone could correct me by all means. But if you really are just trying to unlock Zhang Liao, the easiest scenario really, if you're just trying to say how you unlock him, complete Act 3, defeat him at the, the battle of Xia Pi in your set. Uh, I mean, the other way isn't hard either, but you know, that's the clearest way, if that makes sense any sense, it's the most clear-cut way to unlock Zhang Liao. You know, I mean, I see other ways, you know, I'm not gonna even start with that. Like, I've seen numerous ways to unlock certain things, but anyway, we're gonna play Way Story, and there, if you were to start with a new file and play Way Story first, you have Zhao Dun, Xiao Xiao, and Zhao Yuan as default characters. But obviously, I unlock Zhang Liao as well, so we'll be playing as, as him as well before Act 3, believe it or not. So, I'm actually gonna play as Zhao Dun first. So, here we go. Interesting opportunity for you, cousin. Indeed, chaos can be a powerful ally. <laughs> First, I shall quell this rebellion, so my name shall be feared. Army, forward!
The Han Dynasty, long the center of power, suffers from internal strife and corruption. In response to this oppression, numerous uprisings begin to surface across the land. Led by their leader Zhang Jiao, the followers of the religious sect known as the Way of Peace rise up in protest to the corruption besieging the land. This revolt came to be known as the Yellow Turban Rebellion, due to the yellow scarves worn around the heads of Zhang's followers. In response to this dire situation, the Imperial Court sends out a call to arms across the land, raising an army under the command of General He Jin to combat the Yellow Turban threat. Amongst these brave warriors gathered from across the land, the face of the talented and ambitious Cao Cao can be seen. Alright, so here's the first act, a hero of chaos. Basically, the same three stages. But that did not stop me playing every Musa mode Dynasty Warriors 3. I mean, within those Musa modes, well, for the Three Kingdoms in particular, 26 of those, what, uh, I'm gonna guess off the top of my head, 32 Musta modes, 26 of them involved the Battle Chirpy. So, if I did that, this is nothing. So, we're gonna start, you know, go straight into it, down the line, Yellow Turban Menace. So, here we go. So, anyone that has not seen the first time I played it, it's pretty much, you know, the act considers new, numerous stages. This is the first stage, the Ultimate Menace. And first off, let's check out what we have here. The weapon info, we have a Skimitar as our level 1 weapon. And in order to... Yes, I'm going to say all this again from scratch, just in case if this is not... You know, just in case if this is your first time watching this video. But, uh... Yeah, I'm going to say here, the uh, way the weapons work here, the way they upgrade is by weapon experience. In order to get weapon experience, you have to defeat certain officers and generals. We have to defeat any officer in general to get any type of weapon experience. And if you get a certain amount of combos on those particular officers or generals, that will work too. But you won't get as much. And the highest level you get is level 9. Well, technically 10 and 11, but via weapon experience, and yeah, level 9. Uh, items. We're going to equip the Shadow Harness because we unlocked that. Uh, Warp Orb for sure, and I will add... Hmm. You know what? I'm going to add the Tiger Amulet. There we go. Bodyguards. I have these bodyguards at max, but I would love to actually show off all the bodyguards and just max them all out, like I did in Dynasty Warriors 3. So, with all that said, let's go with the KOE ones next. Then we'll go with Mystery, then Kessin. So there we go. Objectives. We have to defeat Zhang Liang to win. And if Wang Fu Song's defeated, we lose. It's a game over. If I die, we lose. If we run out of time, we lose. Plain and simple. Unit info. It's pretty much the same thing as we did the first time. If anyone has seen it. But anyway, Wang Fu Song's a commander. You have Cao Cao. Zhao Dun, if you press the X button. Well, for me, I'm playing the PlayStation 2 version, so you could actually pinpoint each officer's location. So we have Zhao Dun and Zhang Liao. Typically it would be Zhao Yuan and Zhao Dun, but since I unlocked Zhang Liao, then he'll be here. You got Sun Jian with Huang Gai and Sun Shang Xiang, and Liu Bei with... Yeah, that's comical. Uh, Jiang Wei and Zhao Yun. Um, it would typically be Guan Yu and Zhang Fei if you are starting a new file, but we're not. We already complete issue story. So for the enemy you have Zhang Liang, Han Xian, Zhang Mon Chong, Wan Hai, Yao Shang, Deng Mao, Wang Xiao, and Yu Pi. So 
There you go. And let's do it. I am not expecting this stage to be that difficult since we already played it and we already have better items for it. Insufferable rogues. All units engage the enemy outside the castle walls. We will wait out the enemy at the west gate. Do not fall behind the same job. Our forces will engage the enemy at the east gate. We will attempt to open the south gate. And if anyone's wondering what items I actually equipped, well, I'm just assuming this is the first time you're watching this video in this entire Let's Play Effect. I'm starting this whole story mode from scratch. I mean, I'm do I'm starting a new Musa mode, so might as well act like it's the first time you're playing it again. But uh, bear with me on that. For anyone that has seen my videos already, but you already know this, I'm just gonna say it again. Basically, shit, I just lost my train of thought. Yeah, so I equipped the uh, Shadow Harness. Pretty much, I won't be able to get knocked off the horse in any way, shape, or form, with the exception of uh, elemental factors like boulders. And, you know, I might actually test out the geysers here. Why not? And, uh, I know there are. There's something else, too. I, I'm just not thinking off the top of my head that you can. Uh, but anyway, we'll defeat Wong Shao while I think about it. And uh, the Tiger Amulet pretty much increases my attack. And as you see there, that combo maybe get full weapon experience points. And defeating the uh, officer there, General, I got 102 weapon experience points. And pretty much the Vorpal Orb will equip, well, if your Musu Gauge is at max, your purple, the orb that you equip, Impressive. the one in my case is the purple orb, will be activated, and the purple orb pretty much gives an instant death on regular troops if you make direct contact on them. But uh, anyway, we're going to move on, and we're going to defeat uh, Dung Mao, not Dung Mao, uh, we defeated Dung Mao, Gao Shang. There you go, and goodbye. Gao Shang down. So once that cutscene happens, Wang Fu Song will start to head over and charge towards the enemy. enemy soldiers have appeared from the mist. However, her Yi will appear, as you'll see here. And then uh, Yan Zhang will also appear once he exits the fortress. Believe it or not, you can actually... I tested it out just to see if it was actually possible, and it is possible, to have Wang Fu Song get killed. Um, it's unfortunate, but you just gotta make sure you don't let him get a, you know, don't let him be out in the open by himself and defeat He Yi and Yang Zhang as fast as you can. Because as you saw there, He Yi's morale was at 5, and Wang Fu Song's morale is at 4. Not a good thing there. So we defeated He Yi, and then once he exits the uh, the fortress, or the castle, uh, Yan Zhang will also appear. 
but we'll go and defeat the other two generals. We'll defeat Liu Pi and Guan Hai, and then go from there. And, you know, when it comes to the story mode, the Musa mode, we're going to play every stage. When we get to the Battle of Chirby, we're going to trigger both the fire attack, which I have actually never done before on the way story mode, the Musa mode. I've never shown off the fire attack on the way story. I know I'll be at a major disadvantage, but might as well show it off because it show off both sides with the fall of Wu and fall of Shu in this case because they'll switch back and forth depending on what you do at the Battle of Chirbi. And like I said, Yan Zhang will appear once he exits the fortress. But anyway, we defeated Guan Hai. Oh, well, no, we didn't defeat one guy. We defeated Liu Pi and we'll defeat Guan Hai now. And when it comes to Huang Guy, be very careful because his regular triangle charge attack, he basically throws a bomb as you saw there. And unfortunately, it doesn't matter if he. And that's. That's it. The east gate has been of the main I mean, what I mean, that's it, was. Uh, that was the third thing. But anyway, let me get back to the topic. Uh, one guy's mines of bombs. Uh, I, not ironically, unfortunately. They do friendly fire on you, and you have no idea how many times I've died from that because I was low on health due to that particular attack. But, uh, yeah, so I was mentioning about the Shadow Harness earlier. There's three particular things I think that might be an exce uh, exception to the rule of you not being knocked off is boulders, which is a fact. I've actually tried that. Um, I haven't tried geysers, I'm gonna try it here. And then the third thing is bombs, because one guy throws bombs and there's bomb baiters. So, I will try that out right now, or well, once I defeat Zhang Wan Chung. And he's down. Now we'll go and grab the Musa wine and the dim sum. We must not fall behind. So there's the dim sum. And then the Musa wine is on the other side. And, uh, like I said, I'm going to repeat the same stuff again. Unlike in Dynasty Warriors 3, this game, believe it or not, if you trigger a certain event, the command will probably up to the Battle of One Do on most occasions. This one will be one stage for sure. You could actually get the, the commander to retreat. And, uh, in order to allow Zhang, uh, wow, I complete Yan Zhang the whole entire time. Let me go back and defeat him. But in order to have Zhang Liang retreat, you have to defeat Han Xian. So, we'll do that. And then, uh, well, we'll go back and defeat Yan Zhang. And then we're going to skip defeating Han Xian because that will allow Zhang Yang to retreat and there will be certain events that may or may not happen if you allow him to retreat. If you defeat Zhang Liang here, he will not appear in the final stage, the Yellow Turban Rebellion. However, if you let him retreat, he will appear there. Also, if you decide to skip the stage, the Yellow Turban Rebellion, I mean, the Yellow Turban Menace, he will automatically appear at the Yellow Turban Rebellion by default. And that's similar to the Yellow Turban Fortress with Zhang Bao as the commander. Which we'll get to in the next part. But uh, anyway.
We'll go and defeat Zhang Liang, but let me try to see something here. Alright, I'm going to stand on this and see if it will work. Oh, I will not get knocked off. Okay. He saw it there, so we'll just defeat Zhang Liang and then call it a day. I mean, you can defeat Han Xian and then try to defeat Zhang Liang. But I wouldn't risk it. It wasn't meant to be. And that's a win. All right, so it didn't really take that long. I mean, like I said, I've gotten items that will help me to get through these stages a lot easier. So it only took us nine minutes and seven seconds. But uh, yeah, and we're not gonna get much here. We already got most of the items anyway. So anyway, we have a KO count of 117. Uh, we only got 68 points from it. We pretty much defeated every officer in general. Pretty much every general. We skipped uh, Han Xian because we didn't want Zhang Liang to retreat. And we have a good 3688 points from it. Well, 3688 points. So, yeah. And that should send us automatically to rank 14. There we go. Awesome. And we got 1,032 points, will automatically send us to rank, well, level 2. So, there we go. And the bodyguards, nothing. So, anyway, we'll save. And there you have it. You've been watching my gaming adventures, and I'll see you in the next part. We'll take on the Yellow Seven Fortress. So, peace out.